Last time at the super insulated sunroom, we set windows to be flush with the not yet installed outer layer of foam. The windows are sealed to the framing bucks along the sides, and above, a Z flashing is formed to push any water out if it ever gets behind the outer layer of foam, which is what we'll install in this episode. Begin by ripping the panels to size and placing them on the wall. On the first layer, the full length panels were vertical and they filled in pieces between. On this layer, the full length pieces are horizontal. Because strapping will be screwed to the outside of the foam, you only need two screws per panel to keep it from moving around. With all the panels in place, they turn to sealing the seams in the foam. Along the window bucks on the sides and top, and at the gaps between the foam panels. Before adding insulation to the roof, they seal the layers of this thick wall assembly. Zip system tape was added at the framing stage to seal the roof and wall sheathing. Calvin uses another flashing tape to seal the facing of the insulation to the zip tape. The flashing tape is tenacious, so they keep it up off the zip tape and make sure to align the edges tightly before smoothing it down in place. Calvin overlaps the rake, shingle style. The outer edge is then folded down to seal to the foil facing of the polyisocyanurate foam panels. Finally, zip tape is used to make a tight connection between the zip sheathing and the air sealing tape just installed. On the wall, Dave covers the seam with Dow Weathermate tape, which he's a big fan of because it sticks to everything. A super insulated sunroom may seem oxymoronic, but this one is a tight addition to an energy independent home. Oh, wow.